Hey guys, Tony here from Tony's Toyota Tundra channel. Thanks for tuning in. Just getting this thing off the ground, so I know we're we're crawling and hopefully we'll start walking soon and maybe we'll even run. Who knows? I have several other YouTube channels, so hopefully this thing will catch on a little bit. Uh, what I am basically is just a regular guy, just a regular truck owner. I'm not a mechanic, not any kind of technician, just a regular Toyota guy. Uh, I've had several Toyotas. I've had several um, Ford work trucks. And when I was younger, I had a lot of uh, Chevys growing up high school and in my early 20s and stuff. Made the switch to Toyota Tacomas. Loved them. Been there ever since. This is my second full-size uh, Toyota Tundra. My first one was a 2016, which was totaled about uh, in the end of January of 2020. And now this is a 2020. Uh, I had to replace it, so I got a 2020. Um, and I'm really liking this truck. This video is going to be about double cab versus crew max. People love the crew max. I loved my crew max, but for me, I'm liking the double cab a little bit more. So we'll get into it, show you a few things, my thoughts on it, and some reasons why I enjoy this one better. Can't go wrong with either one. It's just a strictly a personal thing. So that's what we're. That's what this particular video is going to be about. Okay, so let's take a look at the outside of the 2020 double cab Toyota. Now, it's a windy day, so I'm forced to do a little voiceover work here because I had some issues earlier. What we're seeing here is where I fly my radio control airplanes because we brought it over here. I brought it over here so it would be secluded because every time I play, try to place, cars were going by and it got too loud. So, I don't know if that was better than my messed up uh, microphone earlier. But, anyway, back to the truck. So, why do we go with Toyota double cab over crew max and they're both wonderful everybody loves the crew max i loved my crew max you know i really did um but i'm basically what i'm doing with here i'm going here is this one has the bigger bed it's the six and a half foot bed versus the other one with the five and a half foot and the reason is i hunt with a quad i ride quads and this one will fit in the back of my truck i'm going to show a picture here of it in the back of the truck so there it is in the back of the truck now notice the tail right there the uh, um, the hitch okay so when i have the tailgate up i can hook up my other well i can hook up my trailer and we can put my buddy's quad in and we just drop it right on the ball i mean it's beautiful think of it with the tailgate down when the tailgate is down i'm gonna show a picture of it because i had the used to put it in the back of my other truck here in my blue truck the tailgate was down in the crew max because it, it sat there with the uh, um it sat there with the basically the whole the, the 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 tires were back over the bed and it was forced to i it, it was really a major pain in the fanny you had to crawl underneath to hook it onto the ball hook up the chains hook up everything plug in the uh the lights i'm telling you it was it was it was tough so so I didn't sound like much, and maybe if I was 25, it wouldn't be tough. But I'm 59, and it was a pain in the ass crawling underneath. Just by have one thing, being able to close the tailgate, we saved 20 minutes loading and 20 minutes unloading at the end when we got to where we're going, and then we were done to put things back up to go back um, when we left. So that's huge. And when I hook up my camper, well, it's just as crazy. So um, I'm really happy about it. It's just phenomenal. It really, really is phenomenal. It, it, it's ridiculously huge. Limousine big, as they call it. You know, and it really is. So, on the double cab, the biggest thing I like... I'm sorry, I got my, my bag in here. I love the storage here. This thing, you don't get that on the Crew Max. You don't. Okay, but here you go. I got uh, my rope. I got my tie-downs for my quad and everything. I got my jumper cables. On the other side, I don't know if you can tell, that side opens up. And I have a roll of toilet paper that everybody's looking for across the country. If you're an outdoorsman, first thing you put in a, in your truck when you get a new one, roll of toilet paper. You never know where you're going to be. Out hunting or something, you forget. And uh-oh, there it is. So anyway, that's what I do. Okay, so it's still a good size back seat. I mean, it really is. Now, I'm a short guy. I'm only, you know, 5'7 on a good day. I'm, I fit back there. I have a friend of mine that's back right at six foot while it's a little snug it's certainly doable it's not you're not going to go on mega vacations uh with them per se but you know if you're taking a lake run you're certainly fine like that you know going out pulling your boat to the lake or pulling your camper up to the woods for an hour or two it's no big deal maybe you're not going to go all the way across country but they're nice you know they are the the fact that you get one foot longer bed and one foot shorter cab 
in the double cab there it is right there you know you got six and a half foot bed versus a five and a half foot bed in my case six and a half foot bed was perfect i do think the crew maxes are a little better looking i'll give you that i, I don't know just maybe just aesthetic the way they look but um these are still good looking trucks man it's still plenty of room in the back seat um, and for me functionality this truck is perfect it's taken me a while i've had this truck about six weeks now and it's taken me a while um to love it as much as i love my crew max but i i'm pretty much there uh, after six weeks i really am so for me again that's the difference in the crew max for me it's a personal thing in your lifestyle and what you do one isn't any better i will say this crew max um excuse me the double cab seemed to get about i'm gonna say about a mile per gallon better i know they're a little bit lighter they have a little bit a lot bigger towing capacity than the crew max i don't think enough to matter maybe three four hundred pounds uh, maybe that's why it's a little bit lighter and it gets a little bit better mileage um but yeah man i i uh, i've seen it i've checked twice now i am averaging uh 14.8 city driving highway driving that's in city highways you know um and um and it works pretty damn good i got no complaints at all i mean at, at my other one my i could barely get 14 when i did extended highway and some city i could barely get 14 miles to the gallon I was somewhere around 13 5 13 6 7 maybe good on a good day a good week a good tank full this one i'm at 14.8 the last two in a row first one was 14.7 this one was 14.8 just filled it up today at two dollars and seven cents so even through this corona thing at least there's some good news there all right so let's talk about the big elephant in the room and that is the back window everybody loves that mega window and the crew max i mean how do you not the whole thing comes down the entire window comes all the way down the amount of air you get blown through there is insane on the 2020s this year they have put in I believe it's from the ton from the uh, excuse me the limited and up let's see if I can get this on camera right gotta have at least a limited but check it out it is electric okay the other ones were not the SR5s are not electric the back window in a limited and up it is and I gotta tell you I was leery of that because Come on, who love, we love putting that window down. The airflow you get is amazing. On the, on, you know, in Arizona, we're always in the, um, we are always in the air conditioning. But this time of year, you know, when you get uh, the summer, the winter months in Arizona, it's not bad. Windows down, and uh, that back window open make beautiful airflow. I gotta tell you, there is plenty of airflow with this window when you open it up you put your window down you know driver's window or passenger window down and then you put you open this window and there is plenty of room plenty of, 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 of air coming through so don't be afraid if that's an issue and anybody that's looking to buy crew max versus double cab don't let that interfere because i'm telling you you get a good flow uh enough that it blows if i put papers on the on the front part of the seat right down here Man, it blows them all over the truck if you're going 35, 45 miles an hour. So don't worry about that. You definitely get some serious airflow. That was something I definitely wanted to include in that video because most people don't talk about that. And right there, just like your Crew Max is your rear window. Same thing. On the SR5, it's a flat thing. It's 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 um, completely flat and nothing, nothing there. Uh, you know, it's just a, a deal that's has nothing there but those of you who have crew maxes you're used to that button there it is true on the limited and above so there you have it don't be afraid if you really really like that thing get a limited or above and you'll be just fine that's about all i have to say about crew max versus double cab it's totally a, uh, a choice that you make your personal thing but keep that in mind if you if you haul things if you tow you know tailgate down towing and then hooking up a trailer to it is a drag i hooked up my camper my I put my, my quad in the back of my other truck, my 2016 Crew Max, and then I hooked up with the tailgate down. Then I hooked up my camper to it, and it was a pain in the ass, let me tell you. It was a pain. I have a 21-foot camper that I hunt with or just, you know, take the family out with, and it was a pain. This one here, you just hook up to the back and you go. So that's a huge thing. 
So that's the thing I've not heard anybody talking about, so I want to make sure I mention that. Okay, that's it. Tony from Tony's Toyota Tundra channel. We're going to call this one a wrap. Thanks, guys. Be safe out there in this crazy, crazy times we're living in.